Yo, you guys, what is going on? It's Blazonary here, and it's kind of weird to say just that because I actually changed my channel name from Blazonary Kicks to Blazonary. So, Blazonary Kicks is no longer a thing. It's still a store, of course. It's still the Instagram page for the store, but it's not Blazonary Kicks anymore on YouTube because I'm finding out that my vlogs and my lifestyle videos, my entertainment videos, and my pickups that aren't sneaker related aren't sneakers and I want to grow I want to throw in that whole audience of the entire community of people that are sneakerheads but I just don't want to be labeled specifically as a sneakerhead channel because I make videos about pretty much everything lifestyle so I hope you guys like that change because I mean I like it you guys notice I'm wearing the brand new blazonary hoodies this is our 18th design it says 2017 right here. It says 2017 right here. And it says Blazonary World Tour. You can check those out. I'll leave a purchase link down below in the description. They just came out at the time you're watching this video right now. If you're watching it when it first uploaded. Today I'm going to tell you guys how I got scammed. So I actually just got scammed today. I came home. It's a little quick story time. I was hype as hell. I was running up the stairs. And then I got this package, right? So I was like, oh, lit. And I was like... Oh, wait, it's Far Cry 4. <laughs> I forgot I bought a video game. So I was like, oh, all right, all right. So he just didn't send me Far Cry 4. I forgot I bought this because I have a gaming channel that's coming soon. I already uploaded the first video. You can check that out. Link as well in the description. So I was like, okay, sweet. So I ran back downstairs. I checked outside and I noticed I had this package right here sitting on my front doorstep. I was like, oh, sweet. This is the CDG box logo I ordered. Now, this would have been my fifth box logo. I have four right now. So I was saying I have five because, I mean, well, I was expecting the fifth one to come in, right? So I get home. So I go up in my room, and I'm like, all right, lit. So I bust it out just like this. It's on the other side, but it's got my info on it, so I don't want to reveal that side. And I open it up, right? Just like that. And I was like, okay. I wonder what the... And I open it a little more, and I start to notice, like, you know what, man? Those are stripes on the T-shirt. So this is the first thing I saw, right? I was opening up the box. This is the first thing that I saw. I was like, okay. I asked him to throw in something a little spicy. I was like, yeah, man, I'm going to make an unboxing of this on YouTube. Throw in something a little spicy or funny that might spice up the video. I said spice like seven times. And he's like, oh, yeah, for sure, bro. I'll try. I was like, oh, awesome. So I was like, okay, this is spicy. So I open it, and I continue going through it. And this shirt right here, this f***ing... Guess Jeans USA. Here, I'm going to lower the exposure so you guys can see the shitty-ass shirt better. So I open it up, and this is what I do. I was like, okay, did he send the item to the wrong person? I was like, well, wait a second. I checked the thing. I was like, I didn't order this, you know, whatever, da-da-da. I checked the address. It's his address. I checked mine. It's obviously my address. I was like, what the hell is this? I didn't order this. It's not spicy. This is a scam. And I go back downstairs, right? And I check to see if there's any more packages. I check my mailbox again. And I look for the CDG box logo. I'm, I'm just still looking for it. I'm like, okay, maybe he sent me another package. Maybe this is like a little gift for the channel or something. But nope. Turns out I got scammed out of $300. So that really sucks. I would expose him. It's not the right thing to do. Like, I could show his address and say, oh, send a pizza hoard over to him. You know, like, I'll call his house, whatever. If you guys can find out any of that info, but I'm like, it's not right. I mean, because he's got my address, but there's not much really he can do versus what I can do. I figured I'd be the good guy and just, you know what, man? You have a great day. Thanks for scamming me. At least I made a video out of it. I'm not happy because the CDG box logo was in great condition. It was 100% authentic. It was gray with a red box logo. And it was the um, the polka dot one. So if you guys aren't familiar, here's a picture, here's a stock image of it. It really sucks because all my box logos right now, I have four white ones and one navy one. I really wanted something that I could spice up the collection with. And I figured I'd show you guys like, oh, I picked up another box logo. And you guys love watching that video. And it really sucks. So what I had to do is I went up on PayPal and I called up, right? I was like waiting on the phone, da 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 hi, what, what's your issue? I was like, I got scammed. And they're like, okay, fraud and protection. Are these your issues? Like, no, I was like, okay, F this, turned it off. So I went on the computer and I did the file for the PayPal thing. I did a uh, file a claim, I explained what happened, I gave the listing, and then immediately, without even letting the seller respond, because I knew he wouldn't anyway, I had to wait 17 days for him to respond, so I said, no. Bump it up to the PayPal claim. So now it's PayPal, it's PayPal only can handle it. So I called up, and they're like, uh, thank you for being a top member of PayPal. I was like, wait, what's that mean? 
and they're like, oh, it means that you sell a lot through PayPal, you've established a good reputation, and you've now been put on the list where every time you call, you just get bumped up to the first of the list. Because as soon as I called, I got transferred immediately. I was like, oh, lit. And I like, I maybe just nobody was on, but PayPal's always got to wait. So that's awesome. That's better for me in my case showing like, hey, I got scammed. I want my money. So I was like, hey, man, you know what? Um, got scammed. Da, 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 da. I gave him all the info, just like I told you guys. And he's like, well, we can't do anything after 10 days. The seller has 10 days to respond. And if he doesn't, we'll just make it so that you get your money back and you will send your item back, whatever. So like, okay, all right. So now I gotta wait 10 days for the 300 to hit back in my account, which sucks because I was gonna buy something else for you guys with the money I got just coming in from just other things. And uh, now I gotta wait 10 days, it sucks. So I really hope you guys enjoyed my story time. If you did, please leave a like. Let's get this video to 2000 likes. That's an awesome goal for the new the new Blazendary 2017 channel. I'm hoping to hit 100K by the end of February. So if you guys haven't, make sure you guys subscribe to Blazendary on YouTube. And also, cop a hoodie. These are not Gildan made. These are like professionally made hoodies. I don't know the exact brand, but they're not Gildan. It's got the 2017, like I said, Blazing Air World Tour. I'll be at Sneaker Games Miami. You can check them out. Link down below in the description. That's also important because uh, the show is January 15th. I'll be getting in Miami January 14th, and I'm super excited to see you guys. I'll be at Fort Lauderdale, Cleveland, and London. I'm really excited to meet you guys. It's going to be an awesome opportunity for all of us. And uh, these new hoodies are only limited to 50 pieces. And what's cool is I have another hoodie here to show you. This is a size small one. No difference in size, really. It's just all the tie dyes are different. So this one's got more gray and white, and they're really awesome. This is a cream color right here. So I'm super happy with these hoodies. I love that the fact that they're all not the same tie dye because it would be boring. And even on the inside of the hoodie right here, that's the inside. This is the outside. They're all tie dye everywhere. So it's a super good quality hoodie. The price is $64.99 because they're not Gildan and because the design was a lot more to make on these hoodies. Hope you guys can understand, but I love them. They're sick. So thank you for watching. Have a great night day. Whenever you are watching, it's Blazonary. I'm out. Peace. Thank you.